What is going on, guys? The difference is all game with my review of Naruto chapter 700 and plus 9. And this chapter itself, to me, it was actually pretty enjoyable. And we see now that the chapter itself, it starts off now but like Shin becoming Edward Scissorhands because now we see, we, we see him summon all these blades and they now like attached to his arm now. And at first I thought that he uh, might do both arms, but no, sadly he, uh, he only did one. And we see now that when like him and Sarkis is about to fight, we still have the other Shins, you know, aiming their, aiming their, aiming their weapon at her as well. So obviously now, Sakura was like definitely outnumbered, but that did, that did, that does not mean you should like counter out. And so, so now going back, you know, to Sasuke, Naruto, Chocho, and Sarada, we see them now all flying through the air, you know, and Sasuke and Susano, and we see now once again Sarada, you know, had the throws running around inside her head because now, now we have started thinking about her, thinking about her parents, you know, her mom and her dad, and she recalled, you know, what uh, what Sasuke said, you know, no matter how I try to rationalize it, all signs point point to it being my fault. Your apologies are wasted on my wife had never been a pushover, and so we see now Sarada, you know, was like feeling but like conflicted at first because obviously even though she knows. Sakura is not her real mother. You know, Sasuke still cared for her deeply, and so right now Sarada was like wondering what in the like how like how does Sasuke feel about Sakura, and also how do you feel about Karen with, with, with her being you know Sarada's real mom? So pretty much we still need to know you know like where's Karen because obviously you know Karen, Sasuke, and Sakura they all definitely like, they all definitely need to have a talk with like Sarada because right now you know her mind is, like her mind is going wild, but luckily you know Naruto was there and, and he did calm her down because right now her main goal should be you know saving you know Sakura as, as long as Sakura as long as Sakura can focus on that then everything you know sh everything should be fine in the end and so finally Sasuke find the area that they're in and right now he will he like leaving Naruto you know to look to uh to pinpoint the location because obviously you know in his sage mode he he could definitely send things you know pretty easily and so right now we got uh, we get the fight between you know Shin and Sakura, and it seems Sakura was struggling at first. And we see now Shin here had made like had made a shuriken of all these blades, and we see now that he uh, threw it at Sakura. But luckily before it could hit her, we have we have Sasuke coming in there, you know, with, with, with uh, Susano. And not only does he d destroy that shuriken, but he also takes off Shin like he also destroys Shin arm as well. And that right there was pretty brutal. And not only that, we we uh we see now that when, when that when Sasuke had made you know a landing, we see now that not only did he uh, grab hold of Shin, but he crushed him as well. And that right there was pretty messed up. But Shin here would not give up, but but because we, because we see now that you know after Sasuke you know has saved you know Sakura, we uh we uh did see that like she was injured a bit because because we because we see now two two of those blades were like stuck in her arm. But like Sasuke had pulled them out and he burned them. And so now we see, you know, Sakura call, calling him honey and thanking him. And so right now Sakura asking her, you can heal the wound yourself now, right? And so obviously, obviously now with like Sakura, you know, now being saved, Sarada, Sarada was like definitely relieved about this. And Naruto was like, with his eye power back in full strength, Sasuke really is a beast. And Chozo here beating herself saying, oh god damn it. Why don't I get him as a, as my dad? Why does Sarada get him? Like, I really do wonder how long will it be before Chojo actually accepts that, like, her parents are really are, you know, Choji and, uh, and, that, and the woman from the Lightning Village. Because obviously, you know, right now, the girl is, like, definitely, uh, definitely, you know, very, uh, delusional. But now we have Sasuke making a landing and we have all these Shinpo, you know, just, just, uh, just watching them. And, and so Sasuke said, your bones have been broken. M m mobility will be an issue for you. And, and so now, you know, I, I believe, I believe that, I believe, uh, that was Naruto Chor's office saying that at first. And then we have one of saying, we're going to take our time and targeting you back at Konoha. And so now we see, you know, Shin here, he is still not giving up. And once again, he using his powers to like to drag himself toward toward the weapons that you know the uh, Shin clothes are holding, and so right now obviously Shin still has a plan, and so and so he so so right now he was like going going to make his clones fight them, but his clones now actually you know had 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 a, a different plan instead, and we see now all the clones or or the ones around him, you know they they all stab him. And so obviously this right here is a big cliche because like Naruto is pretty much one well 
Beach Hell and Naruto is pretty much a standard now, so this right here is a bit cliche. And, and to me personally, I, I'm not saying this right here, you know, was a bad thing, but I do wish that we could have seen what Shit Plan was originally, because obviously we all know this right here was a was definitely not what he had in mind. And so right now we have we have, we have everybody except for you know uh, Sarada, I mean I mean Sakura and Sasuke, you know, pretty much shocked by this. And so right now, Shin wants to know, you know, what in the world have you all done? And so right now, you know, he's like, he's a, like we, we, we have one, one close saying enough, Father. Now you have become expendable. Nothing more than a used, oh, a, a used hunk of flesh. And so right now, Shin here got pissed because he was the original, and now and now he has, and now he has his own creations betraying him. And so right now, we we have Shin saying, "Father, your eye powers have become feeble and and decrepit." So obviously, you know, Shin powers they have gotten weakened over time. So I do want to, at full strength, just how deadly he could be, because obviously now if he got weaker, and you know, and uh, and, and, and he could still do this much. Just imagine how much he could do, you know, at full strength. And so, and so right now, the clones here will like took over the plan to evolve and progress while while he dies off. And Sakura, you know, she was not shocked by this, but she was like wondering why in the world did it, why in the world did this not happen sooner? And so right now, you know, like like pretty pretty much how we had you know an army of Zetsu back in the uh, Ninja War. Right now we have we right now we have an uh, an army of Shin, and we see now we, we uh we, we have one look like Majibu, you know, a real fat one, and then we have this like very very skinny one that 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 appears to have never taken a bite to eat, you know, in his life, and so right now we have all these Shin clones, you know, charging in there because you know, and and, and to our surprise, you know, even Shin had no idea that like all these clones exist because you know they all made them. So I do wonder how when the world, you know, uh, how in the world can they do this? And obviously, you know, because you know these shins were not made, were not made from the original. It's definitely possible, you know, that the that, that the fat one or the skinny one, these could have been effects because they they were like made, you know, off of clones. So it does make sense why we have, you know, some uh some method ones on in there. And so, and so right now we 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 have a turtle saying there's there's like to see them. I even see some chunky ones out there as Sarda. Taking a jab at her saying, well, we'll, well, we'll lead, we'll lead us to you, Chojo. And that day, you know, was kind of messed up. But now we have Naruto summoning his own clothes, clothes, and we see that, like, you, you would think that Naruto could, like, could, uh, defeat him easily. But, but it seems that, you know, they were, they were keeping Naruto, they were, they were keeping Naruto to a standstill at first. And then we even have, like, this, this giant one period out of nowhere. But luckily, Sasuke, you know, took all that one with, like, with an, uh, with a with a Susano punch, and so obviously that right there was kind of epic. But we see now that the original Shin he will not give up, and we even see now that many ten tails, as I like to call it, it now appear behind everyone, and we see that uh, Shin here was like going to uh, was a uh, going to use the Kamoi, you know, to get away, and so and so obviously now obviously Shin here. When the another surgery, you know, to to fix his body up, and we see now that the mini tentail was like working and and conjunction with him because Shin was like planning on taking the girls with him, and so now we see that uh, Sasuke called out to his daughter, you know, Sarada, and we see now Sarada gave it one good punch, and apparently that punch right there was was not the killing, and to me that right there was like definitely you know quite surprising. I I, I had no idea, you know, that that thing that thing would like be so. It would die in one punch. Now I do know that like Sardis like have had the mother train for obviously, but still like, you would think it, it, it could take at least you know one punch from her. And so right now more more clones you know are coming now you know from behind them. And Naruto was like we should probably withdraw for now. And so we see you know Sakura was like going to you know protect Sarda obviously because you know she told her to stand back and we see now that like Sarda would not listen as she charged you know like right on her head and we see one one of the uh one of the Shin clones you know throwing a throwing a weapon at her and Sarda obviously dodged that but but we uh we, we see now once again Sarda with her uh, strong gun you know activated and we see everybody's shocked but we have Sasuke you know smiling right now you know 
feeling pretty proud when, when he uh, really shouldn't be because it was it was not it was not that long ago where like where Sasuke actually tried to kill his daughter you know because he not recognized her so I'm pretty sure you know Sasuke definitely should uh not be feeling proud but rather uh, rather a shame of rather a shame of himself but we see that with like with uh where soccer was strength she she had punched the ground now and just wrecked all those shins now obviously that right this reminds people from, from the ninja war where where uh, Sakura had awakened, you know that that uh gem on her forehead, Lexinade. So obviously that right there was was like a throwback to this. And like I said, the uh like I said the the chapter so it was like definitely good. Sorry to hear it's getting a, a lot of screen time, and that right there I'm definitely digging a lot. And overall to me it was, it was a good chapter. Sarda once again gets a pretty good development, and we had we had some good action as well. And so for that I'll give it maybe an eight out of ten. But of course I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, because it really helps me out. And you guys take it easy. I will see you all next time.